assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am odo technical developer in the previous video we have uh, discussed about how to customize the odo default uh, header and footer and we have added some of our custom styling uh, in order to modify the header for all the odo pdf reports but in this video we are going to discuss about uh, how to uh, design a custom header and footer for just a specific report uh, in the previous video we have done it for all the reports and in this video we will just do it for our custom module which is uh, open academy and we will do it for a session model so uh, the first step is to uh, remove the default header uh, that we have customized uh, in the last video so for this we have to remove this file from the manifest uh, file so let me do it and then upgrade the module to remove the effect of uh, uh, the code so after the module upgrade uh, the odo will uh, print the report according to the default uh, header so let me just uh, go to open academy and then go to sessions and go to list you click one of the record so let me just change it to it and then uh, save it so that it generates a new uh, uh, a new report instead of just printing it from the attachments so it will uh, print the report with the default header and uh, let me just open it up uh, so we can see it is the default header uh, and also the default uh, footer so what uh, we are going to do in this video we will just uh, create the same header that we have done in the previous video but we will do it only for uh, this report for this session report and the rest of the reports will have the same auto default uh, uh, header and footer so the first step is to create an xml file uh, with any name like custom header footer dot xml so then add the uh, xml versions and uh, encoding then add a new take with Udo. so here uh, add the template and then id uh, custom um, session header footer so this is the id and then uh, define a div uh, with class is equal to header this is it and inside this we will have to put the code uh, that we have done uh, in the previous video so let me just uh, copy all this code uh, for the header and also for the footer so we will do it uh, later for the footer so let me just do it uh, so copy and paste everything uh, so this is uh, the whole uh, code for the header this here we will have to remove this one and just uh, call the class header and then also remove this one so we don't want to use the uh, report layout and then report styling so let me just add uh, this uh, one class call this one class here we have uh, added some custom uh, font family and then we are using the company name so we will have to get the current company uh, from which the user is logged in so let me just uh, define a variable inside the exam and we can just define a variable and we can assign value to that variable so in this case we uh, need to define a variable with the name company and we need to assign the current company uh, value to this uh, variable so how we can define a new variable is t t uh, set uh, equal to company this is the variable name and then t uh, value is uh, the value that we want to assign to this uh, company variable so here uh, we can get the current company using the current user dot company id current uh, user uh, user will contain the record of the current logged in user and the company id will return the current company of the user so this way it will be saved in the company variable and uh, 
the rest uh, will do uh, the rest will be fine so this is uh, only the header and for the footer we will have to copy this code and we will have to add another div uh, here uh, under the just under the div of the header div class is equal to footer and then paste this code so this is the footer that we want to display on the report uh, and this is the header that you want to display uh, on the sessions report so this is it we have designed a, a custom header and then we will add uh, this uh, file inside the manifest reports uh, with full directory reports uh, slash um, custom header footer dot xml uh, so this is added after that uh, we will have uh, but keep in mind one thing that we will have to uh, edit uh, before uh, the reports uh, file because the udo will execute the code uh, from top to bottom so this uh, header must be defined first uh, you know, before executing the reports file so inside the reports we have to call this header and footer template so for this purpose we will have to comment this uh, web data external layout which is uh, defining the report sorry which uh, is uh, the which is adding the uh, header and footer for all the old standard reports so let me here add uh, another div uh, which i have uh, saved here in the text file so this uh, should be uh, the same uh, for all the reports uh, where you want to add some custom uh, headers and footers so div uh, class should be article and then add also this class so after that we will have to add this uh, model and then here you will have to add the variable which you are using inside the for each loop so here we are using doc and you will have to add doc here also and doc and also doc.id so after that uh, here at the end close uh, the div tag so this is it we have added the article uh, class and also this class so after that uh, we will have to call uh, uh, the header and footer template so let me just uh, call here how we can call a template uh, it can be called a simply tt call is equal to here we will have to add the module name which is open academy and then dot and then the template name let me check the template name here so this is the header footer template name so let me just copy it here and paste here and just close this template so let me remove this one and then this one in order to clean uh, the code so this is it we have added uh, the header footer and called the template here inside our report so let me just uh, upgrade the module uh, so that uh, we can see the change uh, that we have added so go to apps and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade we will uh, print this but before printing it let me change the name of the report and then click the print button to see whether it is um, printing according to the new pdf uh, header or the old odo so this is it uh, we can see that it is printing uh, with the custom header and with the custom footer that uh, we have added uh, for this uh, report only so if we just uh, see uh, for the sale order and let's see if uh, what is the header and footer uh, for this report so you will be able to see that the report uh, header is not changed in this case because uh, here we have not added it we have just added it for a single report so this is how you can add um, a custom header and footer for just a single report uh, 
um, and uh, here I want to add one more thing that uh, if you want to just print a report without header and footer we will just discuss this in the next video and we will uh, create a uh, paper format for the report and we'll discuss the details like landscape reporting and etc so thank you guys for watching this video uh hope you enjoy this video uh, please uh subscribe to our channel and also share this video with your colleagues thank you